All right, so uh, so we're here with, with Frank Milby. We're on his track. Now, this is a, it's a pretty cool track. It's actually, if you could see, come over here, Frank. You, you, you give the give a little direction on this track because this this is kind of a cool track. And we're, we're gonna walk back to his barn, but this this is a pretty cool track and a pretty cool farm. So uh, it gives you a little detail on on this track and how it's built. Frank, it's very. Uh, tell us about lubrication <laughs> and your your application method right here. How do we? Do you use two hands normally or one? Oh Lord. Are you a left-handed lubrication or right-handed? I'm just running right this pump. Okay. So notice the uh, he does both. Get underneath. Get underneath there, Frank. Don't just work the tip. You got to get the whole the whole shaft in there. Uh, well, initially we thought we had a nice level piece of dirt here, but uh, ended up a, not. a pan and a <laughs> road grader was here for a few months getting it all worked out. Had to dig probably 12 feet out of this side and add it to the far side here. Right, so so it's actually, this is a hill, or they, this, this is kind of a slope down, and then yeah. this is like a trench. So uh, it's kind of cool, but it's a, it's a brand new track, so... Right. Uh, new tracks take a while to actually develop so yeah. uh but this is your farm this is your place so yeah. you're means you're kind of you're in this for a while then right, right? My grandmother's farm. Yeah. <laughs> building a track that means uh, you're committed to this right well i've been doing this for 20 years now 20 years yeah, yeah. so let's uh uh let, let, let's walk we'll, we'll give a little tour of the farm i think uh, i think this is a pretty cool place uh it's your grandmother's farm or grandfather's farm my grandfather's passed away. It's my grandmother's farm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but was so were they uh, horse racing as well? Yeah, my grandfather started, I believe, in the early '60s. Okay. He was a dairy farmer before that. Okay. Well, I, I think I think a lot of uh, <laughs> a lot of grandparents had to do something else on the well, side. Well, around here, if you go back 70 years like that, most people were doing some kind of farming, you know. Right. Very very important using both hands right here. There we go, getting the tip, both. I like to use the, the forehand and the backhand method, you know. So, so, uh, so they, there's a couple of houses on here, I'm assuming one's your grandmother, you know, grandparents, and one's your parents, and one's yours, right? Yep, yep. Uh, do you have any kids? No kids. Why not? Not yet? Never worked out yet. Okay, okay. <laughs> so are, are you going to try to make some and give them, uh, you, you got to keep, more generations of Milby's, right? Rolling. Yeah, I guess if I find the right person. So, uh, uh, how old are you? Thirty-nine. Thirty-nine. So we still got plenty of time to uh, to, to make some babies. <laughs> plenty of time. Uh, but so this this cool little farm, we we got a track, paddocks, uh, anything that you need to add. Are you gonna add in like a like an equisizer and a spa and all these other fancy stuffs that are popping up? Uh, I'd I'd like to, but not very cost efficient for me. We have a pretty small stable okay you know what I mean? one i uh i would assuming that uh putting in the track was initial investment but right uh it's gonna save you a lot of money right yeah i mean you don't have to worry about paying rent anywhere right yeah. well so, i actually grew up on a farm about five miles from here that my dad sold when i was about 12. okay and since then he's been here so you got you got bit with the uh you got bit with the horse bug early well after high school, I was paddocking horses and stuff, but okay. I went to college for a couple of years, and that was right when Delaware got slots. Okay. My father kind of pushed me away from it before that. Are you, so you're from Maryland or Delaware? Maryland. Right? Okay. Yeah. So Delaware gets the slots, and then your dad was like, no, go to college or something, right? Well, before Delaware got slots, he kind of was steering me away from racing because it wasn't looking good. Okay. And when Delaware got slots, he said that um, his owners wanted to invest in that. Okay. I could work, you know, full time. So then, uh, do you consider yourself more of a trainer or a driver? Because you do both. And you're pretty good at both, right? Um, my favorite thing to do is just own a couple and drive. But okay. Right now, I'm just driving, training a couple. Right. So, uh, if you could have it your way, you'd you'd love the prima donna catch driver lifestyle. And own about two. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Do you? Uh, what do you prefer more? Yeah, like babies, trotters, pacers, colts. Breaking babies is my favorite thing to do. Okay. Yeah. So could you, uh, a lot of guys are starting to do this uh, specialized thing where they break babies, they go down to Florida. How's that sound for the winter? What do, what do you think about that? Sounds like I need to keep working all winter because I can't <laughs> afford to do that. Okay, so, so you, you wouldn't want to uh, you wouldn't want to just work with babies? You got to do a lot of different stuff? Well, I just, 
I, I can't drive horses when I'm down there, you know what I mean? That's true. Well, yeah, can... yeah, Pompano is, is not that much. So, you, uh, is there anything you don't do? <laughs> I'm getting ready you to bush hog this afternoon. Yeah, I, I saw <laughs> it. We, we got some video of you. Uh, uh, do you, because there's corn everywhere. Uh, as, as when we're driving in, it's like a three mile long driveway of cornfields. I didn't know it was in Nebraska, but, uh, yeah. So do you do the, the farming as well? No, a guy rents a property out from a farming place. Okay. So you guys, so how does that work? He just, uh, I guess they pay so much an acre per year, tillable acre. Yeah. Okay. So you just rent it out. He, he's got a plant and do everything himself. Oh yeah. He tills thousands of acres okay yeah i mean literally like it's everywhere like right. all of that I no mean, i mean this farm and probably eight to ten oh he does he, so so he just goes around to all the farms and he owns a couple too okay but what if you wanted to put like a mile straight away just right through the cornfield <laughs> just <laughs> i never thought about that yeah just leave me a form of a, a four foot wide strip and uh, I'm, I'm just gonna my drink. uncle nick callahan's talked about doing that just a mile straight yeah. away through the cornfield yeah. see see I'm, I'm i'm not the only one right you know, I think Frank is working the tip. I think he really needs to have a steady hold of the middle of the shaft. Can you grab this? Yeah. See, I will grab the shaft. The shaft uh, favorite part about, do you like uh, being, because this is kind of a lonely gig if you're on a farm by yourself, right? Uh, usually it's my dad and I, but he's in Florida this week. So. And, and lonely, I mean like you're not being able to talk to other stables. Right. You know, jog it. Part of the fun thing is jogging on the track right. next to other people. Oh, yeah. I've, I've spent summers at Vernon and Rockingham Park, mm -hmm. uh, Ocean Downs, training at the track. And I like being at the track around all my friends and everything, but there's no place like home. You know? is, is there too much distraction here? You get to actually focus and figure When I was younger, I liked the distraction. Now um, you like to be alone? Not really to learn. <laughs> I just like to get my stuff done. and Just get stuff get done? It. Yeah. Uh, so, other than racing it you race at rosecroft and some other tracks too i'm assuming a little bit in delaware a little, yeah. little, little bit of delaware whatever drives i get do you have uh do you have any special do you, do you care about the type of track or any um, of that stuff maryland's pretty nice like it's fun to get the ocean um when june comes around mm -hmm. but it's also nice to get back on a five eights in the fall when rosecroft mm -hmm. opens it's pretty good mix uh we're, we're not too far from like the ocean right i mean our, I don't know where we are. Gina just <laughs> drove me like an hour somewhere, and I have no clue where we are. Are we close to the ocean at all? We we went over some bridge, and that, and that was it. The the big bridge. Yeah, yeah. the the, the um, big bridge. We're about an hour and a half, ninety miles probably, ocean down. Okay. So other than that, uh, I mean, this is a pretty sweet farm, and uh, like, are you gonna try to get more horses? Do you like having a smaller stable? That's that's about it. That's what you um, want. Ideally, I'd probably break two or three babies every year okay and then just how they pan out when they get older so okay that's nobody gets to do what they want ideally i guess so now uh, later on today what are you brush hogging i thought the guy had his own farm are you doing your own just upkeep the, you, the paddocks the stuff. the paddocks the yeah. upkeep okay uh you got eight paddocks here you said yeah so uh do, do and we... then plus all the green that you see I'll cut okay so so you only the non-green stuff like that is all farmland uh that he doesn't work but over there that's what he has to, that's all what he has to brush hog so so you, you got your own brush hog uh is there any do you do you like sometimes work just going on the tractor have, have you ever gotten so into tractoring, tractoring tractoring and brush hogging that you forgot to turn on the mower and you were just riding and just don't even realize maybe, oh. for, maybe for one lap That's okay one, one lap yeah. you just because it, it's it's relaxing i mean my grandfather grew up on a farm he loved to just because it's loud it's annoying right. you can't be bothered right now we got my cell phone and the bluetooth bluetooth yeah and, speakers that's yeah, right got uh you know i can listen to satellite radio and right tracker and everything so it's it is you gotta have maybe a little bit of both right yeah Hor horses for the adrenaline and uh tractor to kind of maybe uh couple cold beers while you're bush hogging you never know is that allowed yeah yeah of, of course right no so cops up here on the farm perfect yeah you, <laughs> you can't I was, i'm sure at some point somebody got pulled over for dui for, for driving on the, a track on the road yeah there we go so uh so frank milby this is a pretty cool farm uh, i enjoy stuff like this i like seeing uh everybody how their everybody's setup is and you know everybody's different not a 
you know, sometimes being on a farm like this is, is kind of cool. I think everybody needs to experience it at some point, right? Right. I mean, it's just what I'm used to, you know. Yeah. A lot of trainers on the eastern shore are, have kind of similar setups. Similar you know? setups? Yeah. Is land, I mean, it must be lands more available or just because I it's... think a lot of the land's been in the families for so long. Okay. You know what I mean? Because, like I said, 70, 80 years ago... You could buy. I think my grandfather bought this farm for five thousand dollars. Sure. And it's two hundred acres. Well, you, I'll, I'll give you five grand for it now. Yeah. Five grand. Here, here we go. I, uh, the offits offered me twenty eight hundred for theirs. Five grand for yours. So I'm, I'm racking up some land here. About a thousand acres between the two of you guys. Right. Uh, does it go? Do you go eat like that way or that way, or is it just pretty much that's as wide as it goes? Um, to the hedgerow there and to that hedgerow back there. But then there's like thirty. Oops, there's there, 30 there's acres a couple. Of, 30, 30 acre field back there that you can't see okay so basically the the, the tree line is kind of kind of yours Shaped yeah kinda like a maybe an l sure back that way. all right so uh uh frank milby uh a, a, do, you, do we have any shameless self-promotion we got to do or no um i'm all about I'm, that man i'm having pretty good luck at rosecroft the trainers are putting uh, good horses on the track for me yeah. so hopefully that keeps up and then uh we're, we're, we'll, we'll do a separate thing coming up in the next uh, couple weeks about all the the charity stuff right. we're, we're gonna do some separate stuff for that this is all about you mm -hmm. how about the, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I, I know he likes to talk about himself a lot apparently right yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, uh frank milby thanks man yep